the Dallas Arboretum. My name is Melissa Medina and today we are inside of the Children's Garden on top of the Moody Oasis. If we take a look around, we see an array of beautiful flowers. And if we take an even closer look, we'll find many different types of pollinators. From bees to butterflies to birds, each plays a special role inside of our garden. Today, we're focusing on a special pollinator the monarch butterfly. These mariposas are in the middle of migration. We like to call this phenomenon monarch madness. All of these mariposas are trying to get away from el tiempo frío and are trying to find their way down south. These mariposas will use environmental cues to know when and where to move. Now where are these butterflies or mariposas coming from? They're coming from northern areas such as Canada and are finding their way down south to Mexico where temperaturas, temperatures, are much warmer. We too play a special role during their migration patterns. The Arboretum is a perfect resting spot for these beautiful and magnificent mariposas. If you take a look around, we have an array of different flowers. Each flower has a sugary nectar that the butterflies love to drink. Mariposas have a tool named a proboscis, which is a giant straw that they use to be able to drink the sugary nectar. Just like us, they need food and they find it here in our flowers. Many of these monarchs travel in clusters and cannot migrate during the night. Our arboles or trees are perfect areas where they can find shelter until the next morning. These monarch butterflies take up to 2,000 miles to travel during one single migration. All of the tags that we uh, put on them are special because they allow us to know how many of them actually made the journey. This weekend, we're going to tag all of the butterflies we have here in the garden to see how many of those make it to Mexico. So come join us and explore monarch madness here at the Dallas Arboretum.